Welcome back. It is officially sales tax free week here in Connecticut. So all week long, you can buy eligible clothing and footwear without the taxes on the item as long as it's under $100. Consumer reporter Cassidy Williams is joining us now to break down what you can and can't buy. Hi there, Cassidy. Hey, the rules sound simple, right? If you can wear it on your body or on your feet and it's under $100, no sales tax. But there are exceptions. Sarah Silato and her son Matthew went to West Farms Mall Monday with a purpose. Well, I'm going off to college. I'm going to UConn, um, and I'm here to look for pretty much just like the essential clothing, like long pants, long shirts, uh, stuff to keep me warm when it's cold up there. It's no coincidence this is when we found them shopping. They are taking advantage of sales tax free week. Everything's expensive now, so wherever we can save money is really good. The lieutenant governor and other officials had a press conference outside the mall Monday morning to remind everyone how this works. Now the great beauty about this program is that um, it's $100 per item. So you could buy $1,000 worth of stuff and as long as each item and it qualifies is below $100, you won't get charged sales tax. So what qualifies? Obviously, jeans and t-shirts, but it's the more unique items that can get tricky. For example, swimsuits qualify, but wetsuits do not. Bandanas qualify, but barrettes do not. And leotards qualify, but ballet shoes do not. And there have been talks at the state house about increasing the limit past $100. Bottom line is, if we can afford it, they'll probably do it. Uh, and certainly it's been under discussion even as early, early as last session. But for now, the limit is 100, which means saving up to $6.35 per item. The state's Department of Revenue Services website has a detailed list of what does and does not qualify. We have a link on WFSB.com and the Channel 3 app. Cassidy Williams, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.